Sometimes people are overwhelmed or intimidated by new technology. We've designed the leak defense system to be simple to understand and easy to use. Here's a brief demonstration to prove that point. The leak defense system is based on the principle of continuous water flow over time. Continuous being the important word because everything in your house is cyclical. In other words, it comes on and turns off. Whether it's a washing machine, which when you turn it on, it may fill for a few minutes and then stop taking water, drop soap, agitate, let the water out, and then repeat the cycle to rinse. Or maybe it's a toilet. You flush the bowl. Once the bowl fills up, it stops. So water flowing stopping and starting is normal in every house. So we look for continuous flow where it does not stop to indicate that there may be a problem. The leak defense system has three primary components. First, it has a valve, like this one here, which all the water entering your home flows through it. Near the valve are two thermodynamic sensors which monitor water flow. These small sensors are amazing in that they make our system, the leak defense, the only commercially available system in the world that measures water flow without any moving parts. So not only can we catch relatively small flows that others might not, but we don't lose effectiveness or efficiency over time. The second component is the low voltage transformer. We do require power, not a lot of it, but enough to allow the system to monitor flow and close the valve when necessary. So it does need power. The third component is the touch screen panel. This is designed to be intuitive and simple to use, always telling you what's going on with water in your home. The valve and the transformer are typically located where water enters your home, often in, a, often in a garage or crawl space or mechanical room, depending on where you live in the United States. The control panel should be located in a high traffic area, maybe where you come in out of your home or next to your home security panel. This is because the control panel is the part where you'll interact with the system most often, and you want to have it in a convenient location. So let's take a closer look at the control panel to show you how it works. As you look at the control panel, you'll see that there's the time and date across the top. Below that is the flow bar, which will show if water is flowing. You'll see that there's no flow at this point in time. Right below the flow bar is an arrow, which is your sensitivity for the trip rate. The system will ignore any flow below that trip rate and only monitors continuous flow when the trip rate is exceeded. Anytime the water goes below the trip rate, the flow clock resets itself to zero. The leak defense has two modes. The first mode, as you see here, is the home mode, when you're home washing dishes, flushing toilets, using water. The second mode is the away mode, when there's no one home. There's still water flowing from things like ice makers and other cyclical devices, but nothing's flowing for very long. My wife and I are now empty nesters. So although we can set our home time to alarm up to two hours, our time to alarm is set for 20 minutes. No kids taking long showers and things like that. This means when we are home, we can have up to 20 minutes of continuous flow before a system will notify us. And it won't shut the water off on us when we're in the shower. If we are in the shower when it alerts, we, simp we see the water stop. We simply turn off the water for a short time. Once the leak defense system sees that flow has stopped, it realizes that you've interacted with it and that there's not a leak at this point in time. It resets itself to give you your full time to alarm again, so for us, we have 20 more minutes to finish the shower. So now let's see how the system works. Here's our small home with the leak defense system. Someone turns on a faucet. As you can see, it immediately starts to show flow and that the trip rate is exceeded. You can always tell if it's a large flow or a small flow by looking at the bar graph. Here you can see it's a large amount of flow, and if I turn the water down to a trickle, you can see it comes down to a small amount of flow. As I said, too, the screen light, whenever it's on in the upper right-hand corner, you know that the trip rate has been exceeded and the flow clock is running. So once the toilet bowl fills up, we flush the toilet, the water flow stops, our system sees that the flow has stopped, it comes back down, goes below the trip rate, it resets it to zero. And it knows that there's not a leak at this particular point in time. If flow did not stop, it would monitor this and then alert once it reached your time to alarm. If you didn't respond, it would then shut off the water to protect your home. So let's say we're leaving and you want to put it into the away mode. You have two options. If it's tied to your home alarm system and you arm your alarm, it will automatically go to the away mode. 
but we don't have that here, so I'm just going to push it and put it into the away mode. Now you can see it's gone to the away mode, which allows you to change all the settings to make a much shorter flow period of time, as well as to make it more sensitive, which you can see we've done here um, with, the, with the trip rate. One feature that people love is the turn off water mode. They don't have to try and find where the valve is to shut off the water to the house if they need to turn it off, if they have a plumber there, or for any reason. You simply push the turn off water button, and it says, water is on, turn water off. So it says, do you want to do that? Yes, I want to turn the water off. So I'll turn the water off, the valve closes to the house. So now the water is turned off to the house, no water will flow. Then to turn the water back on, just push boom, turn the water back on, water is now flowing to the house. Voila, you're a magician. So now you can see the leak defense system is easy and can protect you from the most likely cause of catastrophic damage to your home, water damage.